Hello and what? Whoa! Nearly killed myself there. Hello and welcome to a new Excel shortcut tutorial. And this time we're going to talk about the function keys. One function key in particular, and that is the F8 function key. And this is all about helping you select cells in Excel. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into it. So there are only two ways that you can use the F8 key while selecting ranges in Excel. Now, the first one is very simple and it's, it has to do with selecting continuous ranges. So if you're trying to select this green rectangle of cells, in Excel. So usually what you would do is you would select the first cell of the range, press the shift key and select the last cell of the range. Now there's another way you can do this and that one is actually brilliant. If I was trying to select, let's say from A3 down to A100, which is a lot of scrolling, I would actually do that like this. I would select the A3 cell and then I would go to the name box type A100 and then before pressing enter I would hold down the shift key and now I would press enter and what I've done is I've effectively selected from A3 down to A100. Well but there's another way to do it there's another way to select the continuous selection like this so to select this green rectangle and that is by selecting the B3 cell so the first cell of the of the range and then pressing the F8 key. The only thing that changes at that point in Excel is down here in the status bar, you can see that now it says extend selection. So that is the mode you've turned on by pressing F8. And what this does is it locks this cell down and now it just wants you to click wherever you want the selection to end. Now, usually this happens by accident and then people say, well, Excel has gone crazy and I'm just going to close this down. But it actually has its purpose. So this one is now locked down and now I can just select this cell and I've selected my range, right? That's the way it works. So that's the extent selection part. Now the second way you can use F8 is I'm just going to press escape to turn off the extent selection mode. You can do it by pressing F8 or by pressing escape. The second way you can use the F8 key in Excel to select ranges of cells is when you want to select ranges that are not continuous. So if I want to select all these three rectangles and have all of them be my selection, uh, I would usually do that in Excel by pressing down the control key like this. So I would hold down the control key and then I can add pieces to the selection. But I could also do that by pressing the shift F8 combination on my keyboard. So the shift key and the F8 function key on my keyboard. And if I look at the, the modes down here, if I press shift F8, what I've done is I've turned on the mode that is called add or remove selection. Right. And let me just press escape to get out of that mode. So what you want to do is you want to select the first range before you turn on the mode, right? You want to start with the selection and then you add to that selection. So you select the first range and then you go shift F8 and now you're trying to add to that selection. So now add or remove selection mode is on and now I can just select this and this and now all three of those ranges are selected. And let me just prove that to you by saying 12 control enter. So I've just entered number 12 into all those cells because they were all selected, right? So this is also a brilliant way to select ranges that are not continuous in Excel. Okay, and now number three is not actually a shortcut with the F8, but it is something to be mindful of when using the both the extend selection mode and the add to selection mode in Excel. So here's what you need to be mindful of. And I'm going to explain this on an example. An example will be, I'm trying to select all three of these ranges. Now the trick is they don't all fit 
onto my screen, right? Starting out, I don't see the second range as a whole. So how would I go about this? Well, what I would do is I would select the first one, right? Because they're separate ranges, I need to go with the Shift F8. So I would select the first one, and if I wanted to do it really fancy, I would select the first one and then go F8, and then just select the last cell, right? So I would use the F8 Extend Selection to select the first range. And now I'm trying to add to selection. And if I press Shift F8, that does turn the Add or Remove Selection mode on. But the problem is this. If I now scroll down to where I can actually see the whole range that I'm trying to select, did you notice how the mode turned off right after I started fiddling with the wheel, with the mouse wheel? So scrolling actually turns the mode off. Now, I'm going to say this is a feature, right? It's a shortcut how to turn it off. You don't have to press the escape key, but the problem is, when trying to do this, you need to be mindful that scrolling in any direction, and sometimes you need to when you're selecting, will turn that mode off. Now, I can easily, now that I got the range 2 in sight, I can say Shift F8, the mode is back on, and now I can select the second range, and there I go. Now I have both of them selected. But now, to get to the third range, I again, I need to scroll, and as soon as I do that, you see how the mode turned itself off again? But now I go Shift F8 and I select the last one. And if I look at it now, I have all three ranges selected. So if I go 100, Control Enter, you can see that I've filled the entire range. Right? So this is just something to be mindful of. I'm going to call it a feature, uh, you know, because it is actually the quickest way to turn the mode off. But then again, if you're not aware of it, it can be a, imagine having selected all of this and then you go and scroll to the last one and now you want to just select this one and the mode actually turned itself off and you're just, you know, I've lost two minutes of work. So after this, your cell selection will never be the same again. And with that, we conclude this video. You can look at some bloopers after this. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, that's it for this video. Okay, so... Your selection... Select. Ah. Nothing bombastic. Yeah. First, there. Yeah. No. So the. Usually, 